My full name is Wallace J. Middle initial Nichols, N I C H O L S. Uh, my name is Christopher Pinsetich. I go by Chris, and I'm with the Sea Turtle Restoration Project. Right now, we're in the Audubon Nature Institute Aquarium along the Mississippi River. This facility is currently housing some Kemp's Ridley sea turtles, endangered sea turtles that have been recovered from the oil spill in the Gulf. We've been coordinating with efforts for almost two weeks now in the Gulf, getting involved with sea turtle rescue and rehabilitation. The poor weather has kept us off boats. We're here checking in on things today, and uh, unfortunately, due to some holdups, we're not doing exactly what we came to do. But that's changing quickly. We're going to go look at an endangered Kemp's Ridley juvenile, about a year old, that was recovered out of the oil spill and is now housed in the aquarium in solitary confinement with some other fish in a tank where it doesn't necessarily look like its natural home, but it's a safe refuge for now. A hundred more turtles um, at another facility that's not open to the public. Is that your guy right there? Right there. There's his name tag. That means he was from the oil spill. It looks like LA Dash. Hi, Mr. I'm a bit about the LA Dash. How nice to meet you, Chris, with the Sea Turtle Restoration Project. Excellent, excellent, yeah. He likes turtles. Who doesn't? They're all great. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Judges rescue the turtles. This is a diagram of the Gulf currents in motion right now. Sea turtle juveniles that hatch from beaches in Mexico, South Texas, and Florida spend their lives in these currents. The early part of their years going with the flow. Our crisis point is about here where the Deepwater Horizon rig exploded. You can see that it's affected by numerous currents. We've got the main Gulf Gyre, which connects through to the Gulf Stream, and we've got gyres that break off and go westward to Texas and Mexico. Having the oil in this area gives it a really high likelihood that we're going to see exposure to wildlife and sea turtles throughout the Gulf nesting habitat. It really couldn't have occurred in a worse place for the sea turtles. What do you know about this rescued turtle? This rescued turtle? Well, I don't know when it was rescued, but they did... Uh, when they rescued it, they brought it to our facility on the West Bank and they uh, cleaned it off, made sure it was healthy. And now that it's healthy, it will be released when it's safe to release it again. But in the meantime, they have about four of them in the aquarium on display. Every day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, neither did I. You called this yesterday. Let's do it, right? Absolutely, yeah. Captain Al's waiting outside. He's leading a network of boats that want to get involved with more wildlife rescue, which is exactly why we're here in the Gulf. So we're going to go outside and meet up with Captain Al. Cool. Show me.